Pays of type two short-term rental properties are now officially numbered in the city of Austin. The city council voted today in front of a packed chamber to stop issuing licenses. KXAN's Chris Sadegi is live at City Hall with what effects this could have on affordability in the city. Chris? Well, Shannon, based on what the council decided today, the type two short-term rentals will still be around for a while. However, there will be no new licenses issued out. Now, one of the many discussions that happened here today is, is what that could mean for the housing crunch. Those in favor of the amendment, please raise your hand. Many wore blue shirts. Some brought signs to support their side. But Council Member Kathy Tovo pointed out STRs can be like falling dominoes. In removing long-term rental stock and removing housing stock increases housing costs. Regardless if you own one or not, Tovo said a type 2 STR is a home someone is not living in. That makes homes harder to find, which increase costs, which lead to issues like this one. 23% of all type 2 rentals fall within the attendance zone of those East Austin schools that have lost the equivalent of about two elementary schools worth of students. I think that is grossly misinformed. Property manager Brooke Andrews manages 25 STRs and calls foul. Correlation does not equal causality. You know, this is an expensive city to live in. She says property owners have rights and Austin is stepping on them and perhaps making them a scapegoat for the real cause of all the costs. And to assert that what is already limited to 3% of the housing stock is somehow responsible for all of this is crazy, if you ask me. So at some point, Austin will start phasing out the Type 2 SDRs, although we're not exactly how that will happen, other than attrition might eliminate a lot of them anyway. We're live at City Hall tonight. Chris Sadegi, KXAN News. And you heard in Chris's story, some people claiming short-term rentals contribute to higher rents in Austin, but the answer is not clear. But anyone who rents in Austin has seen prices jump in the last few years. Angelou Economics made this map from census data showing the most expensive areas in 2011 in red. The greenest colors show where rent is about $350 a month. And the deepest reds indicate where rent is more than $2,000 on average. Now take a look at this. This is in 2014. You can see the map became more red, indicating higher rents. The study says in three years, the cost of the average rental jumped 15%. Coming up tonight at 10 o'clock, we take a closer look at how the city plans to enforce the new ordinance, as well as how much time and money have already been spent on this issue.